and sought to connect with musicians all across the world. For sure. Yes. Hey, hey Don. First of all, thank you for all your music. It's so inspiring. And oh. I discovered I discovered you not that long ago, and I, like a lot of people, mind is blown of uh, how much color you've added to the music that we've all known in a certain way, and it, you've expanded it for oh, that's us. That's very lovely to hear. Thank you. Yeah. And so my question. So I've I've sort of come to acceptance that I don't understand all of it and just can appreciate it from a like an emotional standpoint. Yeah. But I am fascinated by what you did with the harmonizer. I saw you in Philly. Yeah. Amazing show. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm. Like I'm fast. Could you talk a little bit about the harmonizer and what what that does? And yes, I can indeed. Do we have a, a headset? Anybody local to the stage? So in order to explain the harmonizer, I need to wear the headset microphone, which okay. is how I sing into the harmonizer. Okay. Um, I won't be mad if you do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find one. Here's um, Alexander, everybody. Yeah. You got that? Fantastic. Okay. So so. While I'm putting the headset on, I'm going to take another question and then I'll come back to okay. the question about the harmonizer. That's okay. very good. Yes. Hi. Okay. Super. Would you mind passing that back? Thank you, sir. Thank you ever so much. And there's a pen to go with it. Fantabulous. Thanks. And here's the lid as well. You ready? Oh. <laughs> Excellent work. Yeah. Okay. Harmonizer stuff. So, this instrument is the harmonizer. Um, it's, it's one of a kind. There's uh, nothing else quite like it. It's actually not a vocoder or a synthesizer, it's a sampler. And so it samples my voice in real time, and then my voice is transposed um, to the notes that I'm playing in real time. So it, this is a fairly bog standard MIDI controller. I mean, it's, it's a nice one, but it's, it's not crazy. <laughs> Put that on Instagram. <laughs> um, I will. And, and this is a. Uh, yeah, this is basically just like all the notes that are on the piano, and so I can sing and play these notes. And you hear my real voice at the same time, so it's almost like I'm singing the lead in the choir, you know. So often I'll sing the top notes, like, you know. Hi guys, like that, and that process is fun because I get to change the vowel sound as well as the. So okay, here's the thing about the harmonizer that some people don't understand. If I play it, nothing comes out. It has no inherent sound. The only sound is the sound I put into it. So. You know, and so so sometimes people I'll say, hey, have I got the harmonizer? And they'll go, oh, what? You know, that's because you have to you have to do the words. But the fun thing is, if I want to be a like a like a sine wave or a pipe organ, then I just be a pipe organ. Or if I want to go, yeah, oh yeah, then it will say those words as well. So I get to decide like how, yeah, what vowel sounds to distribute. And there's also. Um, a special sort of contraption. I don't know if you can see any of this down here, but there's three little pedals, and I can freeze the harmonizer like this. Right? And once frozen, I can bend it different distances. It's just third, fourth, fifth, up and down, and then combinations of those directions. And then also, if I do a nice big freeze like. Uh, And you, once it's once it's frozen, you can do some really yeah really fun things. So so wh how does how does it know which like you want to have a, a certain voice of the chord be your voice and the, the others are forming by that? How do you decide which part of the chord your actual voice is to singing? sing? Yes. Well, I, I sing the part of my choosing, and it, it comes down to being. I guess it's just like a, a musical decision that, that you make that you're making that you, that I'm making. Yeah, because. It, it, all, it, all it can do is obey me, so... <laughs> um, in that 
situation, for example, like I'm singing a voice that's in the middle of the chord, um, or I can sing the voice. If I do that though, it's not that good at tracking my voice. Whereas if I go, it can like hear me more easily. And so I, t I tend to aim to sing no lower than about here. And up to, yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, so, so yeah, it's a really delightful instrument. And I built this back in 2015, in February, with my good friend Ben Bloomberg. Yeah, I've read I about, about Ben, but he's an amazing guy. He's actually not here anymore. He was here on tour last week, then he went home for a while. But he, he and I designed this based on this idea I had of, I want to sing vocal harmony, but I want to do it live. And I can't afford a choir. <laughs> what am I going to do? Now you can. Now you can. Yeah. Well, like, the thing is, this is a, a specific kind of sound right. that ended up being like almost like not really vocal, more like sort of synthy, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's a really amazing counterpart to like the choir on mass. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's, that's amazing. A bit about the harmonizer. What a for toy sure, you've got sure. there. <laughs> Thank you very much. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Last question from over here. Where did I start? Wow. I started everywhere. I started with listening. The first thing to do as a musician is to listen. I would almost say the first thing to do as a human is to listen. Because you learn everything from listening. Like, when you learn to speak, and when I learn to speak, the first thing you do is you listen. And you absorb as much language as you can. And then, you start to try saying things. You know, so you go, You know, and the process of starting to speak is a magical time. And the lovely thing about language, when we learn how to speak, is that our parents, or the people who bring us up, people around us, they don't mind if we get it wrong. So if we go, then the only reaction we get is like, oh, that was great. You know? <laughs> Whereas in music education, if you get it wrong, sometimes there are teachers who say, that's very bad, don't do that. You know? And that's actually really tough. Um, and I think in music in general, we need to do a better job of allowing people to fail or play, or be strange or curious, but for me, in music, I, I started by yeah, being very interested in sound, listening to sound, and then I started on the piano, lots of, um, finding lots of chords, I, I really like chords. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> so I would, I would play a chord, do you like chords as well? Yeah. Yes. Good man. So this chord, for example, is D major. And when I was a child, how old are you right now? Nine. Nine. Fantastic. Very good age. So I would try and add as many notes as I could into this chord to make it interesting. So for example, if I add that note in, or that note in, or that note in, the chord kind of gets more and more colorful. And I spent a lot of time when I was about your age, nine, eight, nine, ten, doing that, just sort of finding chords keep one note the same, and then go somewhere different. And then those experiments started like this, and then they, then they became like, you know, this goes kind of stuff. But it just, it just happens, the more interested you are in something, um, and the more time you give it, the more it will keep on surprising you, and then when you're surprised by things, then, then you, you figure out ways to, to contribute to them, you know? And uh, I got my first bass when I was about 14 years old. And I really like playing bass, the bass is really fun. And I was also playing drums at school. I played drums in, a, in my school band, in the concert band. Um, and my teacher didn't really like me on the drums very much. <laughs> was, uh, on, the, on the sheet music, on the uh, part, it would be like... <laughs> and my interpretation of this was like... And it would be like, Jacob, guys, Jacob, come on, stop, play the part. So there was a lot of that when I was growing up. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you, can, you can learn from everything. Every single thing is a teacher, both in music and outside of music. And also, things that are not musical can give you musical ideas, which is really cool. So you can walk around out here on the streets of Denver and you can see people, or you can see a tree, or you can see a car, or you can hear a part of a conversation, and you can put all that into your music. And that's really fun. 
Um, when I was about seven years old, so a couple of years younger than you, I started to record music in Cubase, which is like a musical software. And when I was 11, I got Logic. I don't know if you have you heard of Logic. Do you know Logic? So Logic is like an audio software program. And um, yeah, from age 11 to now, I'm 29 now. And that process has been a lot of using Logic and enjoying that process. So I kind of started, yeah, piano and, and Logic and bass and singing and all sorts of things and drumming. And, but I wasn't, like a, I wasn't like a master at anything. I was just very, very interested and curious. And I'm still not a master at anything, but I'm even more interested and curious than I was before. And now I'm on a stage, so I have to pretend to know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, in music, there's there's not there's not a right way of doing anything. You just you, you do something that feels right for you. You know, yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good words. Malachi. 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 Is it your birthday today? It is. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. We've met before. Where did we meet before? We met in 2019, 2019. 2020 as well. That's awesome. Would, would you be able to sing this wonderful man happy birthday? Yes! yes. And then, then, then I really must go. But let, let's do this. Okay, Malachi, you ready? Everybody? Yes. yes. Before we go, everyone squeeze in. Squeeze in real tight. <laughs>